What is poppin', guys? It is J-Rob here, back again from Team Energy Golf Class with another guide video this week for the Night Sky Tournament and the Milano and Sharuba Springs Golf Courses. So we're going to be going over quite a few of these holes today. Um, we're going to get you guys as dialed in as we possibly can this week, talking ball recommendations, best ways to play these holes. Um, it's going to be a little bit different uh, than... Uh, we've done in the guides in the past. We're going to do the text guides first and then follow that up with some shots that we're going to have to make here in the tournament uh, as far as that goes. Uh, but there is going to be a little bit of a disclaimer here at the beginning of the video. Uh, with that being said, uh, that's going to have to do with our side spin. So there will be some older clips here within the video. And if you are wanting to calculate the exact side spin uh, down to the science of uh, what the new update is, um, about two bars of the old side spin is uh, roughly one bar of the new side spin, or you can calculate and divide that down by 2.33, and you will get the exact number that you need. Um, but with that being said, uh, here in a second, we're going to dive into the guide. But if you guys have not already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and definitely click that like button. Uh, we're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers and we got a ton of ideas coming for the channel, so definitely stay tuned to that. But we're going to get on over to the first hole and get it started. Let's go, boys. All right, guys, so we have hole number one here, par four for Sharuba Springs. So basically, this one's going to be played one of two different ways, like usual. Uh, for rookie divisions here, uh, just going to be simple, 0%, uh, pro, 5%, and expert and master here is going to be played with just a 10% elevation. Um, the simple way to play this hole here is uh, the left side arrow, uh, the red arrow here. Uh, basically, you know, four or five bars of top spin here. Um, and basically get it as far down that left hand little stretch of fairway as you can there to set us up for the straightest shot that we have here towards the pin. Uh, so basically the second shot here is going to be, you know, really simple. Just two bars backspin uh, straight at the pin here. Zero percent elevation. Uh, just get your wind adjustment right. And uh, this should be a really, really good chance here at uh, an eagle for the first hole. Uh, so if you can dial that shot in here, uh, we're going to try to show you a clip here of uh, the shot next here in the video. Uh, but definitely, if you can dial in that shot, it's going to be a big advantage. Uh, you can also play this one here to the right side with the blue arrow. And it's basically full top spin with max left side spin, two to three bars with whatever ball that you're using. I would recommend at least a side spin three ball if we're going to go that way. Uh, but you're going to have to use a little bit of overpower as well. Um, you guys that are in pro and expert in uh, master's divisions, a lot of you guys are just going to be playing this down the left hand side and then you're going to have a sniper shot to the pin uh, that's going to be pretty simple just a couple bars backspin uh, right at the pin or if you're further enough down there you're going to have a long iron as well uh, so good luck guys pretty simple hole uh, and let's move on uh, to the clip okay so here is the clip that we have uh, for the shot basically that we're going to take uh, down this left hand side fairway so if we take a straight shot down this left hand side fairway uh, it's going to basically set us up right here with this long iron shot at about mid distance so depending on how far up we put our uh, our target here uh, is going to basically determine how much backspin that we're going to use so I use roughly about a bar of backspin here uh, and you can see I just moved this uh, you know, just shy of the yellow ring there. And uh, like we said, we're using some old clips here in this uh, in this guide. So, um, you know, if any of the spin or adjustments, you know, like that, uh, definitely uh, you know, critique those and, uh, you know, simplify those down. Uh, but we're going to move on over to hole number two here, par three. And uh, this one here is our first par three. Uh, for Sharuba Springs, we're basically going to play this one straight at the hole here uh, for the red arrow. And for rookie division, this is going to be played with a 10% elevation adjustment. Uh, there is quite a bit of elevation for this hole here. Uh, Pro is going to be played with 20%. 
expert 30 percent and masters 30 percent so uh, for the red arrow like we like we were saying here i would recommend to play this one with about four to five bars of backspin uh where if you get too far up there um you're going to end up using a uh, wood club or you might get a little bit mixed up in clubs here uh, i would recommend using a long iron that is more than about 124 yards i would say uh, something with a, a bit of distance the goliath would be a, a good choice here uh, because we're, we're going to want to have that distance or use you know a, a little bit of a higher powered ball like a power three ball to, uh, to compensate a little bit for the distance here uh, to help you out but you know basically one bar of right side spin here get it to where it's just guided in back towards the hole here and straight at the pin and you should be just fine uh, with your 10 percent elevation adjustment uh, those of you in pro and expert here are going to be playing this with a wood club no matter what um, so basically uh, it's going to be uh, quite a bit of backspin approach here about you know five to six bars of backspin here with the wood club you're going to need just a little bit more and I would recommend playing this with the sniper. Um, just basically straight at the pin and make your 20%, 30% elevation adjustment here, and you should be uh, just fine. Uh, there is the blue arrow to approach here that can be played uh, with, you know, three to four bars of backspin and two bars left side spin. If you don't have that distance to, to get where the red arrow is there, um, but you just basically curl it in just a little bit there with about 10% towards the hole. Or, you know, I'd add a little bit more side spin. Uh, either or, but pretty simple par 3 here. And we're going to move on to the clip. Alright guys, so this is basically how this par 3 is going to be played. Uh, as you see here, you know, I have the Goliath. Uh, and this is almost uh, max distance, you know, here, this is uh, from the front tee box. Uh, so a lot of you guys here in rookie division, this is what you're going to be looking at. Uh, you guys in uh, pro and uh, expert, it's going to be a wood club here. Uh, but as you can see, I used uh, about uh, six bars of backspin here, but you can put it just a little bit further Perfect back shot. and use about four to five bars of backspin. But just get it to where it's going right at the pin and completely ignore my coffee emojis here. Um, but basically, uh, that's how it's done, uh, and we're going to move on to the next hole. All right, guys, so uh, we have our first par 5 here at hole number 3. Uh, this is our first Milano course here that we do have, uh, so we can play this one a couple different ways. Uh, the red arrow here uh, for rookie division is going to be played with 0%. Uh, pro is going to be played with 10%. Expert is 20 and master 20 as well so basically uh, we can play this here with full top spin uh, with whatever club that we're using i wouldn't recommend going more than like you know six seven bars here um, especially if you're a uh, rookie playing from the front tee um, but uh, basically just get it down that left hand stretch uh, right down the middle as far as you can and it'll set us up for a really nice second shot straight at the pin here with a sniper uh, which which I would recommend. Uh, pretty much any ball here is fine. Um, but basically, our second shot here is going to be played with a 0% elevation adjustment. So we're going to be just adjusting for our wind here. Uh, right at the pin, I would leave the ball guide just shy. Like a square shy, so it has that little bit of room to roll straight at the pin. Um, but basically, uh, the blue arrow here is if we have a tailwind or you know we can reach that uh right hand side little circle fairway there then we can play that with about you know four or five bars of top spin here depending on our wind six bars maybe um and basically play it with about two to three bars of left hand side spin and uh we can get it straight down uh that onto that little second uh, squiggly fairway there before um, the green and we'll actually have a really nice uh, long iron shot or a short iron shot 
to the pin depending on our distance uh, but basically it's a really really nice way to snag the albatross uh, you'll see a lot of people grabbing the albatross on this hole uh, it's definitely going to be one of those par fives where you can uh, you know grab an extra stroke um, a lot of you guys in pro and expert division probably aren't going to be able to reach the right hand side as much uh, but you're definitely going to be able to blast it down that left hand side and take that nice sniper shot to the pin especially you guys in master uh, it's going to be a hole that a lot of you guys will have to dial in to really you know get that stroke to kind of step up your game here so uh we're going to move on to the clip here and that's pretty much the wrap up for the text guide here for hole number three the milano par five all right guys so this is a little unorthodox here um but if you guys are capable of playing that right hand side and they do give us um, a pretty aggressive tailwind here uh, that we can reach that little right hand side patch of fairway and make it up to the second fairway here um, you'll have a nice short iron or long iron shot right here to the pin um, I would recommend using a bar to two bars of backspin uh, right around where the fringe is there straight at the pin uh, but basically you can get an idea of how the shot's going to come in here a little bit uh, the rough iron does have a little bit of a different um, you know Perfect approach shot. as far as you know the ball guide and uh, how it bounces and approaches coming in towards the pin. Uh, but, you know, we came in really nice right there and we're able to snag the albatross. Okay, so moving on to hole number four here, par three. Uh, this is going to be maybe a little bit of a tricky one here for some of you guys, um, but definitely one that's going to be a uh, hole in one hole if we can get this here dialed in. Uh, we have a pretty sweet clip coming up here that we're going to show you on how to play this hole. Uh, the elevation here for rookie is going to be just 0%. Uh, pro here 10% and expert and masters 20% uh, so basically the red bar here is going to be played off this first little patch of fairway there and it's going to be played with one bar of topspin roughly uh, you know it could be three quarters of a bar to about a bar uh, I would recommend using the grizzly um, you know it has uh, a good ball guide at a higher level if you don't have that you know it's okay uh, but basically just get it to where your ball guide is going to bounce off of that first top fairway and it's going to hit that little x in the rough that we have right there before the pin so your ball is going to bounce and it's going to hit that rough spot and then it's going to go rolling straight onto the fringe and down towards the pin and right into the hole um it's a really nice hole in one kind of bounce rough bump shot uh, but you can also play this one here to the blue angle and down onto the little second fairway there uh, we can play it with four to five bars of backspin and a, you know a bar a couple bars of uh left hand side spin and kind of lay it up over that little rough patch there to the green uh, and you can also get the hole in one that way um but basically going to be pretty uh you know tricky par three for some people but one that uh you know if you get dialed in will be really nice okay so here's the hole number four par three clip that we do have uh this was the bounce rough bump approach here that we were discussing uh this is basically going to be played uh with the long iron uh, and you guys can get a good uh judgment of where that ball guide is going to go and where it's actually going to hit in the rough and how close that you're going to actually have to place your uh, your target to that rough line. Uh, so some of you guys, if you do, uh, you know, end up, um, you know, choosing to go with that option, uh, you know, with a, a tailwind, uh, it's going to be a little shot. tricky, you know, because your ball is going to be blowing forward. Uh, so, you know, as you can see there, I was very close to the rough line there. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit tricky, but a nice hole in one. So let's move on to hole number five here, another par four. So here for rookie division, uh, this is just going to be played with a 0% elevation off the tee box. Pro, 10%, and expert and masters here, 20%. So basically, uh, the red arrow approach here is going to be played with uh, four to five bars of top spin straight down that left-hand side fairway and uh, you know get it as far down there as you can without going into the rough 
uh, you may have to use just slight overpower. Um, you know, a lot of you guys in a um, rookie are probably going to take that approach. Uh, but the blue approach is also a great, you know, option, which a lot of you guys in pro or an expert and master are going to probably be playing uh, the right hand side uh, because it's, you know, straight shot right down the fairway. Uh, we can use a little bit of left spin there. Uh, basically max top spin, you know, two to three bars of left spin. Uh, we can compensate, use a little bit of curl, maybe a little bit of overpower if we wanted. Um, but basically it sets us up for a really nice long iron approach or a short iron approach to the green if we can get up there uh, far enough. Um, but basically it's uh, nine times out of ten probably going to be a long iron approach. Uh, so basically it's just going to end up being... 0% uh, elevation for our second shot with a bar to two bars of backspin right at the hole, depending on how close you put your target. Just always remember to leave that little bit of room uh, for your ball guide to, you know, kind of roll. But uh, that's pretty much going to be the wrap up here for uh, hole number five, par four. Uh, pretty simple hole here. Um, you know, a lot of you guys in the higher divisions are basically going to play that some you know that shot with a wood club as well uh with you know the same backspin approach so it's pretty simple uh but yeah we are going to move on to the clip all right guys so basically if we get our ball down that right hand side as far as we can this is basically the shot that we're going to end up with uh, we're going to have to use a little bit of curl and some left-hand side spin to get ourselves kind of angled to the left down that fairway close enough that we can use our short iron here. Um, but basically, it's either going to be a short iron or a long iron to the pin. A uh, couple bars backspin here right at the pin and 0% elevation. And you should be just fine. As you can see, we roll in right here real nice and snag the eagle. So we're going to move on to hole number six here par five and basically this one is going to be played a couple different ways depending on the division that you're in uh, rookie division is actually going to be able to reach all the way over to the second um, island of little fairway there uh, the stretch so you will be able to bounce right up at, around uh, the red arrow there down with about four bars of top spin and some right hand side spin i would recommend at least two bars if not three to the right and you can use just a little bit of curl about 10 to 15 percent curl to the right as well um, and then you're going to set yourself up for uh, a second shot here at 10 percent elevation uh, and this is going to be a pretty tricky shot um, you're either going to use the red arrowed right hand approach and you're going to use some left hand spin with four to six bars of top spin and around 50 percent curl here because we're going to have to bounce off of that right hand uh, patch of fairway there and then we're going to bounce over that rough and clip the rough there and then roll out past that bunker and down onto the green or we can go with the blue arrowed approach and just bounce it off of that fairway with a little, you know, about full top spin here. I uh, wouldn't go too crazy with it, you know, because uh, you don't want to roll past the green down there. Uh, but you will uh, definitely be able to make it. Um, but bounce off of that left-hand fairway and roll down as far as you can towards the green. Um, a lot of you guys here in Pro and Expert uh, are going to be playing this the blue arrowed approach which rookies just 0% pro here is 10% and expert and master here at 20%. So the bounce over shot here is basically full top spin with a bar of right hand side spin to two bars. And we want to get it down that second fairway as far as we can. Um, and then it's going to basically set us up for the same second shot, but we may have to go um, you know, to the right hand side and just lay it up down there on that fairway and chip it over to make the eagle. Um, you know, we'll just basically have to use our discretion as to where our ball, uh, where we can get our ball and what type of wind that we are going to have in the tournament. Uh, so that's pretty much going to be the wrap up here for the text guide for hole number six, par five. And we'll move on to a clip. All right, guys, so basically, if we take our drive 
and uh, you know we end up having to lay it up down on the furthest right hand side patch of fairway and we end up having to chip it over the rough here this is the shot that we are going to be left with uh, i would recommend using the thorn here for this shot as we can use the full backspin approach uh, if not you know you can definitely just you know make sure you at least have at least four bars of backspin i would say on your short iron here um, but basically zero percent elevation adjustment here for this shot um, this being would be your third shot here um, and just lay it up right there with full backspin, uh, you know, and a pretty decent shot in an eagle. So good luck. Okay, so we're going to move on to hole number seven here, par three for the Milano course. Uh, this is a pretty straightforward hole. Um, it's basically going to be played off of that island patch of uh, small island patch of fairway right in the middle of that bunker there and we're going to play this with four and a half bars of backspin to four bars of backspin straight at the pin um there is also a rough bump approach here with the sniper for some of you guys in uh pro and expert uh divisions a lot of you guys in masters are going to be playing this here uh you know with a wood club uh, max distance so uh, you know a guardian or you know even the rocket uh, you know something like that uh, driver but um basically it's just a pretty straightforward hole uh, just directly at the pin here rookie zero percent pro zero percent and then expert and master here at ten percent um, basically uh, this is the best chance we have here at a straightforward hole in one directly at the pin in my opinion so uh good luck with this hole guys and we're going to move on to our hole in one clip okay guys so here is our clip for hole number seven par three for the milano course uh so basically like we said zero percent elevation uh this one's gonna play be played with roughly four bars of backspin here uh directly right at the pin you can play it with a bar to two bars you know of right hand side spin uh, depending on you know how far left to right you put your target but basically you know i would just recommend straight at the pin make your elevation adjustment here like i just did um and straight at the pin uh it's gonna bounce right onto that island Perfect and over shot. and roll in really nice for a hole in one best chance here at a straightforward hole in one in my opinion uh, a little bit different of a shot for some of you guys in higher divisions but definitely a great chance so we're gonna move on to hole number eight here par four for the milano course uh, so basically i would recommend playing this one here to the red arrow if you are in rookie division or pro division uh, expert and master are more than likely going to be played with the blue arrowed uh, approach here um, but basically the red red arrow approach here is going to be played with four bars top spin two to three bars of left spin and about 10 percent curl to the left uh, so uh, just get it to where it's just outside of your ball guide uh, and make sure that you are further enough back if we have a tailwind uh, you know uh, rookie division isn't going to have to mess with a whole lot of elevation here uh, we have zero percent elevation uh, but pro and expert masters divisions is going to be a little bit different pro is going to be played with 10 percent expert 20 percent and masters 20 percent uh, but definitely don't get uh you know mixed up on your elevation here to the left hand side and um you know make your wind adjustment wrong and accidentally hit the rough there in front of that little panhandle on the left fairway there at the end of the red arrow because you will end up in that little cricket in the water so basically make sure that we bounce over that uh you know both bunkers there and the little river that runs through and we end up on that left patch of fairway over there before the green and we'll end up with a nice short iron shot to the pin uh zero percent elevation for the second shot two to three bars of backspin straight at the pin and uh you know just make your wind uh adjustment and you should be spot on here with a really nice eagle attempt uh, a lot of these par fours you know if you can dial in your shots are going to be great attempts here 
uh, at snagging some extra strokes. Uh, so basically, the blue arrowed approach uh, for some of you guys in higher divisions uh, is going to be played with a wood club to the pin. I would recommend playing this one with the sniper, uh, of course, because it gives us our best ball guideline. Uh, ball recommendations aren't really, you know, a whole... Uh, you know, big deal as far as, you know, what ball that you pick in specific for this hole, uh, you know, anything really works here. I would just recommend if you are going to go to the left side, you know, a couple bars of side spin at least on your ball. Um, but if you do go with the blue arrowed approach, you should be fine with just about any ball here. Uh, so uh, going to be a pretty simple par four, but uh, one that uh, is going to be you know, one that we're going to want to have here. So uh, good luck, guys, and we're going to move on to our clip. All right, guys, so unfortunately, I wasn't able to find the clip of the exact uh, Milano holds that I needed here uh, for hole number eight, par four, but it is essentially a shot exactly like this, identical, uh, two bars to a bar and a half backspin here, uh, just over that little bunker, uh, straight at the pin here for hole number eight. Uh, if we go the left-hand side, uh, this is like the exact shot here that we will have uh, just straight onto the green and right at the pin here uh, with a couple bars backspin. Uh, we can also use the full backspin approach uh, as well where it bounces Perfect up and shot. over and back rolls back towards the pin uh, but it is essentially going to come in and roll straight at the pin just like that for the eagle okay guys so here is our very last hole that we do have today hole number nine here par five for Sharuba springs uh so basically a couple different ways to play this one as well here uh the elevation is going to be for rookie 10 percent pro 20 percent and expert and masters at 30 percent so basically how we can play this here is um it's going to set us up here with our wood club on that uh first little patch of fairway and we can either bounce off of the first patch of fairway over to the second one where the end of the blue and red arrow is out uh, with our wood club i would recommend playing it with a big dog or we can bounce over there and use backspin uh, with our extra mile. And that's basically, uh, you know, the red arrowed approach here with one bar of backspin um, or one bar topspin because you will be okay using either one depending on the headwind or uh, tailwind here. So basically just keep it on the second patch and don't go in the bunker. And it'll set us up for a nice second shot here to kind of curl around uh, with full top spin, uh, zero percent elevation here for our second shot, and we'll basically curl it around here uh, with about twenty percent curl and uh, full top spin and uh, max left hand side spin here, and we'll get it to bounce off of that uh, little island fairway there before the green and over that rough patch and missing that bunker and to roll out from the rough and onto either the fairway there before the green or onto the green there. If you do play the blued arrowed approach here, what we can do is use a little bit of overpower if we want, uh, basically full top spin here. Uh, for rookie division, this is going to be uh, the best way to play this here. Um, we can move our uh, driver all the way up to that second patch of fairway there at the end of the blue arrow and we can use full top spin and two to three bars of right hand side spin a little bit of curl there maybe 10 20 percent and basically a little bit of overpower and bounce it over all of that snow and the rough patch there and get it onto that right hand side little long stretch of fairway and it'll actually set us up for a very nice uh, attempt at the albatross here uh, straight at the pin so that's our best chance at getting the albatross here on this hole is if we can get over to uh, that next um, island there but if if we have to and we have to play it to the right hand side on that right hand side patch of fairway and then drive it up that uh, the uh, straight fairway there on the right 
we'll just have to make sure that we land uh, that blue arrowed second shot approach here to snag the eagle. And I would recommend using the sniper or a guardian or something like that there, um, you know, if you're going to go for that approach. Uh, so that's pretty much going to be the wrap up here for hole number nine, par five. All right, so this is going to be our final clip here in the albatross shot for hole number nine, par five here for Sharuba Springs. Uh, so basically what we're going to do here is play this with, you know, four to five, six bars of backspin here, um, you know, depending on how far up you put your target and basically get it to where it's going just in towards the hole. Um, you're going to want to use, you know, two bars of side spin, a bar of side spin, you know, just get it to where it's just shy of the pin where your ball guide is. Give it a little bit of room to roll and 0% uh, elevation uh, straight at the pin. And just make sure it bounces in and is slow enough to catch that hole. So that's going to be the wrap up here, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys being here and watching the video. I really hope that this helped you. Uh, leave a like. Leave a comment down below. Let us know how you did in the tournament. Uh, thank you all so much again for being here. Let's hit that 1,000 subscriber milestone. I got a gift card giveaway that we are going to be giving away once we hit that milestone. And I'm, I'm definitely excited for all the big ideas that we have in store. So with that being said, guys... Thank you all so much for the support. And this is J-Rob from Team Energy Golf Clash signing off. Catch you boys around.